Do you remember that goal? And this one? This one? The ones that had us on the edge of our seats celebrating the precision of a perfectly executed free kick. The days of the free kick taker, almost guaranteed to score when given the opportunity, appear to be dwindling. Free kicks have become a less frequent sight in Europe's top leagues over the past 15 years. Instead, teams often opt for passing or crossing in dead ball situations near the penalty area. But why has this changed in recent years? Is it a sign of the growing influence of analytics in football or simply a natural evolution of the game? Let's delve into this topic in our video. I do not believe what I've just seen! Oh my god, an insane goal! I've just seen You're probably familiar with what a free kick entails. So let's dive right into the analysis. We'll examine the trends over the last 20 years in the world's three major leagues, as well as the Brazilian championship, where we find some intriguing statistics. Unfortunately, we couldn't obtain data from the Champions League and the World Cup. Starting with the Premier League, where David Beckham, Cristiano Ronaldo, Henry and many other stars played. As we can see in the graph, the golden years of set pieces in the Premier League were between 2008 and 2017. Peaking in 2008 with a total of 45 goals, accounting for 4.5% of the league's goals that year. Comparing the years outside this range, the years before 2008, we have a low representation rate, with free kicks representing less than 1% in 2004 and 2005. After 2017, we have an average rate that has varied until today, in which free kick goals in the Premier League were 1.8% of the league's total. The question is, what set those 10 golden years apart from the rest? Well, the five players who scored the most free kicks in the Premier League were, with the exception of Ward Prowse, who is still in the league to this day, with his first game being in 2012, and Gianfranco Zola, who ended his participation in the Premier League in 2003. Cristiano Ronaldo was the only one to be part of the golden years until his transfer to Real Madrid in 2009. Beckham and Henry left a year before the peak of the league. During the period from 2010 to 2017, there were several players who stood out in free kicks, but in particular, it was Sebastian Larsson who scored constantly in almost every year. In La Liga, the peak of free kick goals occurred between 2008 and 2020, with the highest tally in 2008 at 37 goals, representing 3.6% of the league's total, with the numbers before and after this period falling drastically, representing less than 2% of the Liga's total. And these are the five greatest free kick takers in La Liga. Today, none of them are in the Liga, only Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo being present during the Liga's peak. And it's no surprise that the number of goals started to drop after their departure, especially Messi's. Ronaldinho left a year before the pinnacle of the league and Rivaldo and Roberto Carlos well before that. Now analyzing the European League with the most goals in this period, the Italian Serie A. We had a major peak that lasted from 2004 to 2020, with the exception of a few years in between. During this period, we had several years in which the number of goals in the season exceeded 30, representing on average 2.9% of the league's total goals. And the five players who scored the most free kicks in the league were and finally, we have the Brasileiro. In the Brazilian Championship, we were only able to obtain data from 2007, and we made the comparison up to the 2022 season. As you can see, the number of free kick goals in the Brazilian Championship is much higher than in European Championships, especially until 2013, where goals represented more than 4% of the total, reaching 5.6 in 2007 while the highest average we found in Europe was 4.5%. However, in 2014, this numbers began to fall, varying by an average of 2%, that is half of what had been practiced in previous years, even smaller than the European Championships. The biggest free kick takers in the Brazilian Championship are 
A curious fact is that with the exception of Marcelinho Carioca, the other four played in the Brasileirão of 2011. Now that we've seen that it's not all in our heads and that free kick goals are actually decreasing, let's try to understand why, according to football-related research website The Analyst. In 2008 27.5% of Premier League free kicks awarded in the final third of the field were taken directly to the goal. In 2022-23, this proportion fell to 19.6%. In Serie A, the proportion of direct free kicks in the final third of the field peaked at 28.9% in 2013-14. It hasn't gone above 24.2% since then. In fact, in this period, the profile of the Italian league is almost identical to that of the Premier League. 19.5% of free kicks in the final third were taken as direct kicks, compared to 27.3% in 2008-09. The deepest falls were in Serie A, 50% fewer free kicks in the final third per game. And League One, but the Premier League, La Liga and Bundesliga saw reductions of at least a third. So what conclusions can we draw from this? According to the CBF, the number of fouls awarded in the Brazilian Championship fell by 16% in the comparison between 2010 and 2021. This drop can be explained by the tactical change in games with increased marking and reduced space between the first man and the cover thus reducing unnecessary fouls close to the areas, the increased prevalence of football based on possession and controlled build-up play, as opposed to a game based on counter-attacking, means that teams suffer fewer fouls in the final third. The basic hypothesis is that a defensive player is more likely to miss a tackle or desperately attack an opponent when he is at speed. The technology makes it easier to anticipate movements caused by set-piece takers, analyzing mainly dominant foot, biomechanics of the shot, shot speed and preferred corner. Therefore, like everything in life, football also evolves. On and off the field, sports science has contributed to a more developed game in recent decades. Just watch a match from 40 years ago and then watch a current game. There is no better or worse period each context is unique. Therefore, it would be unfair to insert modern parameters into longer-lasting football and vice versa. Much is said about the interference of physiologists and physical trainers in the face of dead ball calls after the training session. After all, this intervention becomes understandable after considering the physical demands of the current game combined with exhausting travel in a calendar full of competitions while in the 70s, professional players covered four to seven kilometers per game, today's athlete runs between nine and 11 kilometers per game, according to studies. Therefore, the technical committee must be careful to ensure there is a balance between overload and volume at the ideal time of the week. In view of this, an alternative would be to divide the total number of free kicks practice across the days of the week with a low intensity, but with constant training. However, due to the vast content to be covered in such a short period of time, the coach can opt for deed ball training just one day before the game. Former player Neto recalled that he trained 70 kicks daily, but constantly suffered from injuries. When you do these specific exercises, you have local overload on that thigh muscle, especially the adductor muscles. Obviously, the risk of injury increases and you have to do this with great care, attention and a gradual increase. You can't just start taking a hundred set pieces from one day to the next. When the man is different, it's already come in his DNA Ronaldinho Gaucho, for example, after each training session, took 20 set pieces almost every day. Of these, there were 17 goals, two balls hitting the post and one going wide. His quality was exceptional, recalls Yudes Pedro, former technical assistant. Now we take the four or five best hitters on the team and work exhaustively. But these five hitters don't have that quality. For every 20 free kicks, you see five, six goals. According to former midfielder Marcos Asuncao, who played for Santos, Flamengo and Palmeiras, current players are not interested in becoming specialists. 
whether directly related to changing attitudes towards free kicks or not, the number of free kick specialists appears to have declined in recent years. Well, generally speaking, great analytical advances and their greater acceptance by clubs seem to have made teams more judicious with their free kick choices. However, we must take into account that nowadays, fewer free kicks are awarded in the final third than 15 years ago. However, there are few players who are synonymous with scoring goals when a foul is given just a few meters away from the goal. With the changes in the style of football played today, Statistical analysis has become one of the main factors considered by coaches. It is fair to say that the free kick goal is a dying art, which tends to diminish over time. Thank you very much for watching this far. Let a comment to his, what are your thoughts? Don't forget to like and subscribe.